everyone and uh, welcome to lab three. We are in the week seven folder down in week seven lab. Um, and for this lab, we're going to be using two data sets. The first data set is a social capital data set from Penn State. So we're just going to download that real quick download, and download the code book as well. Um, just to give you sort of a brief rundown of what's in here, um, this is county, what's in here is county level measures of social capital. Um, let's zoom in a little more. And what you can see is here is something called a FIPS code, a county name, and then SK2014. Let's let's start with this. So the this this one is probably pretty obvious like this is each row is a county in the United States so we could find Lata County here we could find Ada County up here and um, each county has its own row okay now you might be wondering what a FIPS code is. You should think about this as being like the name of someone. And then a FIPS code is like a social security number or unique ID for this county. And it's it's made up of two components, this FIPS code. Um, the first one is a state code. I can actually show you what the state codes are here. So Alabama has a state FIPS code of 01. And if we look at our data set here, you'll notice that all of the FIPS codes for Alabama start with a 1, right? All of them start with, a, technically they start with a 0, 1. Um, if we go down to Alaska, they have a FIPS code, a state FIPS code of 2, and all of their county FIPS codes, all of their FIPS codes here start with a 2. If we go down to LATA, nope, LATA, we can see that all of these here start with a 16. That's because Idaho's, if we look here, its FIPS code, its state FIPS code is 16. The three numbers after are like unique IDs for the county itself, and they're three digits. So the first part of this number is a two-digit two state code, and then the second part is a three-digit county code. And together, they form unique IDs for all counties in the US. So as an example, we have Lata County here, which is 16057. The state FIPS code for Idaho is 16, and then the county code is 057 which makes Lata County's uh, full FIPS code 16057. Um, again this is just like uh, Lata County's social security number or unique ID um, and you can see how it's associated here with its county name Lata County. Now you might be wondering what this third measure is here and this is um, a social capital index that was created by some um, scholars at Penn State um, using principal component analysis. And really, this is just combining four measures together. Um, specifically, the four measures are the number of organizations, associations, businesses, um, sports uh, organizations, fitness centers. Um, they also take voter turnout, the census response rate, and the number of nonprofit organizations. Um, uh, and come up with this index. Uh, here, it, lower values mean that they have lower levels of social capital and higher values have higher levels of social capital. Um, the second data set that we have in our lab is this county employment and education. Just open that up real quick. Um, and this has, I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see. You'll notice in this data set, again, there's a FIPS code. Um, there's the state, the, the abbreviation. There is the name again. Um, you also have the unemployment rate, the urban rural classification, um, median household income. 
um, the percent in poverty, the percent of people in the county with uh, less than a high school uh, degree, the percent of people with a high school degree, the percent of people with some college, and the percent of people with a bachelor's degree. Okay. Now we have our two data sets and clearly this one is here in this spreadsheet and this one is here in this spreadsheet. So we need to figure out how to join these together because what I'm interested in, it, in examining today is if there's sort of a preliminary relationship or association between social capital and poverty. In other words, is there higher social capital in counties with lower levels of poverty or is there higher so social capital when there are higher levels of poverty? But right now the data, data sets are in two different spreadsheets so we need to figure that out, how to join them. And the easiest way to do that in Excel is a formula called VLOOKUP. So I'm going to zoom in a little more too just so you can see some of this here a little better. So VLOOKUP really allows you to join two data sets together column by column. Um, and the basic syntax, so if I take you back over, back over to the guide here, then I can show you the basic syntax. And it's something like this equals, and then the phrase VLOOKUP, which is what the command is, open parentheses, and then the what you want to look up. So um, like in our case, we're going to be joining based off of the FIPS code, which is a unique ID. Then we're going to say where we're looking for it, the column number in the range, comma, and then the column number in the range containing the value, and then whether we we say either one or zero. Um, I always say zero here, I never say one, okay? Um, so I just wanna show you, this is the formula that we're looking at for this. So I'm gonna do, start out with equals V lookup open parentheses. And I remember I wanna join based off of the FIPS code. Okay, I want to join based off of the FIPS code. So I say equals VLOOKUP. I want you to look up this number, 1001. So it says here A2, that's the cell A2, which in this case is the FIPS code for Autauga County, Alabama. Then I do comma. Now where do I want it to look for this data? I want to look over in the social capital data set and I'm going to select all three columns here, all three columns. You're not selecting just like one cell, you're selecting all three columns. And you'll notice up here it's saying look in the social capital data set on sheet one and look in columns A through C. And specifically, it's going to be joining based off of the first column that you select. And then I'm going to say bring the third column over because what I want is the social capital index here. I want the social capital index, which is the third column in these three columns. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do one more comma and then zero. And that zero means I want an exact match of this FIPS code. If I put one, it does what's called like sort of a fuzzy match. And I don't ever do fuzzy matches. I always do exact matches. So just always put a comma zero at the end. And then I close parentheses. And let's see what happens. So I'll just put social capital index here. And you can see that it is negative 0.631003. That is the social capital index for Autauga County. So it came over correctly. Now, in order to apply it to the whole column, what I can do is just double click twice on this little bitty square. Do you see this green square right here? If I just double click on that, it will go for the entire column, okay? But as you can see, when I click on each of these, like yes, it's showing up as negative 0.5024 in the cell,
but still behind that is actually the formula. See this formula here? That's what's behind it. And so I want to just keep the numbers. I don't want to keep this formula anymore. So what I do is I copy this whole column. So I just did right click and then copy and then paste special. And then I do values, which gets rid of the formula, but keeps the number that resulted from the formula. So now when I click on each of these, what I can see is only the number, the social capital index. So just to review that formula one more time, because I know VLOOKUP is a little clunky um, and doesn't make a lot of sense at first, but the formula starts out as equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses, and then you go over to the unique ID that you're going to be joining on. I want you to look up 1001, this right here, 1001, in the first column here. And when you find 1001 in this, co in this column, I want you to go three rows over and bring me the value from the column that is three columns over. Does that make sense? So we'll go over it again in class. This is one of the clunkier things to work with at first, but it is super, super useful. Okay. So let's move on to correlation. So correlation is really just a measure of how much two variables are associated with one another. Um, correlation uh, is not causation, obviously. You hear that all the time. Uh, that one variable causes another. That is not what correlation is telling you. Um, correlation just sort of gives us a peek into whether there's an association between the two, whether the two are moving together. But it can't tell us which one is causing what or even if there is causality involved. It's just that they are moving together at the same time. Now, Correlation is much easier than VLOOKUP, so I, I don't want you to worry too much. Um, so if we are interested in the relationship between social capital and poverty, all you do is do equals core L, and then you take the first variable you're interested in, and you just highlight all of these. All of these. In fact, I can just scroll down to the bottom and highlight from there. Now, the next thing is it wants another thing because correlation is about an association between two variables. It's about an association between two variables. So if I'm interested in social capital and poverty, I'll just go right over here to the poverty rate. And you'll notice that there's a comma after that first column. And then I select the next one, percent poverty. And I'll just scroll all the way down to here. And then I close parentheses. So all this is, is the correlation between the values in the social capital index and the correlation between the percent of people who live in poverty in the county. And what we can see here is it's negative 0.275896. Um, if you're familiar with correlation coefficients, um, you should know that they range from negative 1 to 1. So one, negative 1 means that there's a perfect negative relationship. So when one variable goes up, the other variable goes down. Um, one means that there's a perfect positive relationship. So when one variable increases, the other variable also increases, and zero means that there's no relationship. Um, in our case, the negative 0.27, or really negative 0.28, indicates that there is, there's a somewhat negative association between poverty and social capital. In other words, counties with greater proportions of people in poverty are likely to have lower social capital. To be clear, again, this is just correlation. This is not causation. Um, we are just saying that the two seem to be associated with one another. 
Now, I do want to show you this for when you get your own correlation coefficients. Um, we're going to be talking about like how to how to discuss them, how to characterize them. Um, so if you get something like negative 7 to negative 1, that's a strong negative association. If you get something like negative 0.3 to negative 0.7, it's a moderate negative association. A 0.1 to negative 0.1 is no association. So this here should provide you with a little bit of, in your lab guide, should provide you with a little bit of an opportunity for how to discuss correlation coefficients as well. Okay. So, and then these questions, we're just going to be working on um, social capital and other social and economic variables to see how correlated they are with one another. But I will see you all in the lab.